what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel today guys we are finally back with another hot toys one six scale unboxing and review video and today guys we are going to be doing another iron man we're doing mark 5 from iron man 2 now this is the newest version of this specific suit but i will openly confess this figure was released about a year ago or more so now the question is why am i barely picking this guy up well i will confess um i didn't really have plans of purchasing this guy right now eventually yes i did want to because i have a goal of purchasing pretty much every single iron man figure um but this guy was uh, and again i'll give a big shout out to sideshow collectibles who had a big discount on this guy so i thought it was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and uh, uh and grab this guy so today we're going to go ahead and review him as always want to thank you for the continued support for all of you those of you guys who are subscribing to my chan channel thank you as always it means the world to me again i did purchase this guy off of sideshow collectibles so i'll go ahead and include the link to that on the description of the video in case you want to go ahead and purchase him since he is in stock so with that being said guys let's go ahead and get started with the review okay guys so with the box itself so i am a big fan of this box it matches the coloring of the figure so obviously we get red at the bottom and the top along with silver in the middle and the figure of course in the main cover we get the name of the figure which is mark 5 and the name of the movie along with the die cast logo because obviously this figure is a die cast figure um at the very top we are going to get the name of the figure again and the name of the movie along with the red color of the box and the letters are silver once again to match the coloring of the figure so i am a big fan of that um as far as the bottom same thing name of the movie red coloring silver letters and marvel studios as well on the side we get the foam cover pretty much where the figure is at so we will go ahead and get it a box later on the back we get the arc reactor along with the silver and red coloring and the warning and legal information by hot toys and then finally on the left side we get the name of the figure stark industries at the top diecast at the bottom and again the same coloring which is the red and silver so i would say after a great start now with the figure itself so again as i mentioned before we get a foam cover which i am always a big fan of because i feel like it protects the figure better as you guys can see here at the bottom that's where we have more of the accessories with the figure itself um, obviously we have mark 5 on the top cover of this foam um, box or cover whatever you guys want to go ahead and call it and then getting the figure itself for the first time first impressions off to a fantastic start without question uh, he feels as heavy as i thought he would be he is pretty hefty and that's obviously a normal thing because again it is a die cast figure so now that i've gotten previous die cast figures it's one of those things where i kind of expected this so i would say off to a fantastic start the guy looks absolutely phenomenal i love the coloring he looks very bright and glossy and shiny so i am very impressed for now so again as always guys we're gonna go ahead and get started with the accessories and then we will review the figure in detail later on and of course at the end we'll do some posing okay well so with the accessories guys we don't get a lot of things with the guy and to be honest with you guys to me that's not a complaint i feel like it comes with enough to complete the figure now as you guys know there is another iron man mark 5 but it's kind of like the suit up version that is more detailed and it's much better than this one obviously uh but first we start with the uh base so the base pretty much is going to represent the monaco uh race track or race uh, as you guys can see we see some lines and some gray coloring to match that race track we do have also the iron man 2 mark 5 nameplate that looks really really good and it does come with a crotch grabber onto the figure now a part of me wishes that it would have come with a uh a waist grabber to kind of make the figure fly but hot toys does decide to do this because again the figure is heavy so it might kind of bend now also we do go ahead and get the suitcase now the other mark 5 version which is the suit up does have this pretty much open right the suitcase with this figure unfortunately doesn't it just comes as an accessory still on all not going to complain about it to me the coloring on the suitcase is really really good um it matches the coloring of the suit obviously so that's a great thing so no issue there whatsoever now we get this robert downey 
uh, Junior um, face sculpt, which to me is a good head sculpt, but I can't go perfect. And the reason I can't go perfect is because I do know about that other uh, Mark V face sculpt, which, you know, with the suit up version. And to me, that face sculpt is perfect for this figure. This one is good, as I mentioned before, but it's not perfect to me. Now, I do love the skin texture and the uh, paint applications on that cut that he has below his eye. To me, that looks really, really good. But there's something about the eyebrows and the eyes that makes me say that this is not a perfect head sculpt again maybe this is just me to me everything else is really really good the hair matches the beard the mustache again as i mentioned before the skin texture and it does look like robert um but again there's something about the eyebrows that to me it's kind of off now it does come with damaged armor from that fight against avanco um to me i love the paint applications that hot toys put onto these onto the damaged armor because to me it looks to me like if he fought vanco obviously vanco had those electrical type of weapon weapons right from both of his hands so as you guys can see the suit itself it looks burned it looks damaged so it makes sense right because obviously the electrical pieces would pretty much kind of burned the suit itself and again as i mentioned before it looks really really well done again there's some pieces of the suit that are kind of off and one thing that i love about this arm is that it also comes with batteries so we're able to go ahead and turn it on if we want to and to me that is great because it does give us gives us a lot of options when it comes to posing the figure now again this is the shoulder piece that goes on to the right arm uh later on in the video we'll go ahead and try all of these pieces onto the figure so that you guys can see the differences and to be honest with you guys to me there's five different ways that we can display this figure and i will show you each and each and every way that we can do that a little bit later on now it comes with four different pieces of uh of his chest that we're able to attach and detach again as i mentioned before we'll go ahead and try it on onto the figure a little bit later on but all of these pieces are damaged again they're burned and i love the paid applications onto them again it matches what the figure you know is supposed to represent which is a fight against vanco and again they all look really really good so we will definitely try these on onto the figure the last piece of damaged armor will be this interchangeable hand that goes onto that same left arm again as i mentioned before paint applications look really really good i can tell he's been in a fight to be hot toys did a phenomenal job with the suit itself and again as you guys can see with the fingers it looks like the suit has been ripped off in some way so again that matches right so to me i'm happy that hot toys went above and beyond with these interchangeable parts from the da damaged armor now the last pieces of accessories so we do get three pairs of hands and these are normal paint applications so they're not damaged so we get these right here and i'm sorry no i apologize i have the wrong hand so ones are movable the other one isn't my apologies so we get the first pair which is pretty much the movable fingers so pretty much these fingers are bented in any way you want to you guys are able to display it in any possible way that you want to now if i'm not mistaken these hands are not able to turn on right with the batteries only the other pair but again the paint applications are great they match the figure now these hands right here are the ones that we're able to go ahead and turn them on with the batteries to kind of you know get him to um pretty much shoot beams out of his hands Again, paint applications look really, really good and it matches the figure fantastically. So I am happy about that. And the last pair of hands are pretty much gonna be just closed fists, right? Again, pretty much up to you guys how you wanna go ahead and display the figure itself. So um, I would say pretty much so far, no complaints about the accessories. Again, a little jealous because the other figure does have a lot more things, right? Obviously it's kind of like a suit up version. This one, it's, it's you know, it's not, right? But again, no complaints. These would pretty much be all of the accessories that the figure comes with. So off to a great start. Okay guys, so with the figure itself, so as I mentioned before, so we have five different ways of displaying this guy. So uh, before I do get to that, I do kind of want to just quickly touch on the suit itself. So I am a huge fan of this Mark V, right, in live action and of course the figure itself. Because number one, we really don't get a red and silver uh, Iron Man suit later, you know, on the movies. Uh, this would probably be the only one. Obviously, the main colors are red and gold. So to me, this is a very unique suit and I am a big fan of it. It. i think hot toys did a fantastic job with the likeness of the figure the color silver and red look very glossy and they look
look really re it, look, it looks really really good onto the figure so i am a big fan of it uh, as far as articulations with the figure to me this figure is very flexible as you guys can see we're able to move it forward and back and to me that's a great thing uh with iron man we get a lot of different ways of posing him again the only bad thing is that we don't get a waist uh grabber so we can't display the figure flying but either way with the crotch grabber with the hands the fact that they're so flexible and so easy to move we get so many options when it comes to uh, displaying the figure now with the legs one thing that i love is that the legs are not that easy to bend i mean again they do bend all the way back right but again it's hard to put it that way so what that means to me is that the figure is not that loose and it's pretty much kind of easier to pose right because he has a strong kind of pose right and to me that's a great thing again it's not that easy to uh to kind of you know post the the legs right or flex them so that to, that to me is a fantastic thing right again as far as the suit as i mentioned before i love the coloring and i love i love the fact that some of the paint applications are kind of dirty so i can tell the figure has been kind of fighting right so that's a great thing to me right I'll, and it, and again it's going to blend well with the damaged armor as well now with the battery so i have installed them already i cannot tell you guys how hard it was for me to go ahead and install these batteries because again because of the suit and the way it's made it's kind of magnet so it was pretty much pretty hard to install the batteries but the batteries are going to come on to, on the helmet on the back because obviously the arc reactor and on the left and on right arm as well so this would pretty much be the first way of displaying it which is with no led lights now the second way would be pretty much with the led lights turned on so as you guys can see right there hopefully my light effect is not too much of an issue but again as you guys can see we get pretty much both of his arms the arc reactor and the helmet turned on that is the only parts of the suit that do turn on and to me that matches the figure uh in the movie so this would be pretty much the second way which is of course pretty basic right but uh a cool way for sure now the third way would be pretty much with tony stark's uh face sculpt right so obviously this doesn't look as cool as the suit up version because of course um the suit up version does have a better head sculpt as i mentioned with this one before it does match rdj right and i can tell it's him but there's just something off, off about the eyebrows and eyes that i can't say it's a perfect head sculpt now again the head sculpt does connect onto the suit really really well and so we do get that option of displaying it that way but again there's just something off right but either way this would be the third way of displaying the figure which of course would be with the head sculpt installed onto the figure the fourth way would be with the damaged armor so as you guys can see i have gone ahead and installed the damaged armor which would be the chest pieces the left arm and the right shoulder piece on the right uh again to me it matches the figure so well because again the damaged armor the paint applications they're really well done and again to me this looks really really good again just another way of posing or displaying if you guys are interested in that so the damaged armor looks again fantastic burned right it matches the figure so again this would be pretty much the the fourth way of displaying him and then the final way would pretty pretty much with the with some parts of the suit kind of opened up to kind of show him like suiting up now obviously this is not going to be like the suit up version of this mark 5 but at least it's something and as you guys can see it's from the bottom legs around the ankle area and then the chest pieces as well uh and the back as well right and i do have the arm stretched out because that's the way that he suits up with this specific suit right again it doesn't look that great like the suit up version but at least it is a different way that we can post the figure again if you guys are interested so pretty much this would be the five ways to display him okay guys so now a quick side by side so obviously this is my third die cast figure and here i am comparing it to the first ever die cast figure i ever purchased and this is the iron man neon tech 4.0 uh, version so as you guys can see the suits look really similar although again we get mark 5 and this neon tech i believe it's kind of a representation of mark 50 if i'm not mistaken um from uh from endgame right or from infinity war uh, as you guys can see obviously the suits look similar 
from the perspective of how the figures are built they're both very heavy right obviously the coloring is different but the helmets look pretty similar the heights are pretty much similar as well and i do believe both figures are very well put together now obviously if you guys make me pick i'm actually gonna go with mark 5 now obviously the neon tech is supposed to represent a newer suit but again to me there's just something about the red and silver coloring of the mark 5 that just does it for me i truly say this i truly mean this when i say this this is one of my favorite iron man suits of all time so but i guess again as you guys can see with the die cast material again both figures are so heavy and again the the way that they feel is very similar so this would be my first side by side comparison and then my second comparison would be with my other die cast uh, figure. So this is the recently added uh, classic Iron Man from the comics. So both figures are also really, really heavy. Um, I would say that the coloring of the suit on the classic Iron Man is much more glossy and more, and more shiny than Mark V. But, but maybe it's because of the coloring, not necessarily the figure itself. Now, again, if you guys make me pick which one's my favorite, I'm still going to go with Mark V. So yes i do want to make a confession mark 5 is my favorite iron man as of now now this is my fourth iron man the other one is the mark 3 from uh, zd toys right um but again with the die cast figures right you guys can tell the material and how it is die cast it's heavy i love the fact that high to hot toys does this with all these iron man figures so again a big fan of that so this would be the second comparison right and again for now it is three die cast figures without question this is just the start i definitely hope eventually eventually to purchase much more die cast iron man figures okay guys so now we have pretty much reached the end of the video where of course i post the figure in different ways hopefully you guys enjoy the poses that i've chosen for this specific figure so again as i mentioned before um mark 5 is one of my favorite suits i love this suit specifically love the figure have no complaints whatsoever as i mentioned before maybe the head sculpt could have been a, li a tad a little better but it's not a complaint at the end of the day it's still a good head sculpt the way that the suit is put together is amazing the coloring looks fantastic to me i really don't think that iron uh, i'm sorry that hot toys could have gotten anything wrong with this guy again this is supposed to be a reissue so i feel like they kind of have to make uh as perfect of a figure as they possibly could and again when it comes to iron man we all know hot toys goes out of their way to make sure that this figure is as great as possible so yeah for now no complaints no question my favorite iron man as of now this is my fourth iron man and again as i mentioned before this is just a start i i do have eventually that goal of pretty much purchasing every single iron man figure and yeah i would say pretty much just the reissue figures because obviously there are older iron man figures right that were released years ago i don't plan on purchasing those because again as you guys can tell uh hot toys is focusing on pretty much re-releasing these figures doing 2.0 versions and things like that obviously i've done like three or four preview videos for iron man figures that are on their way so yes all of them have purchased so i cannot wait to expand this iron man collection uh again i know a lot of us complain because hot toys released too many iron mans but let's be honest iron man has so many variety of different suits that again we all love how he looks right the coloring of the suits the led lights the accessories everything everything about iron man is pretty much amazing so trust me i will never complain to hot toys about them releasing different iron mans my only complaint to them is that i wish that they would put the same effort with other figures to make sure that the likeness is the same as these iron man figures right so again this is my fourth iron man i cannot wait to get more so again as i mentioned before this figure is as good as it comes so I'm so glad and so excited that i finally got it uh before i do end the video guys as always want to thank you for the continued new support you guys are the best i love the support that i get on a daily basis as i always mention if this is the first time that you are watching me feel free to like this video and if you don't mind also go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so that you stay updated with any upcoming videos that i will be posing i am glad to know that i'm finally back with these unboxing videos and just stay tuned so many more figures are on their way and also what i always like to recommend is to follow me on tiktok and instagram the links to that are on the description 
of the video there is where i post updates and where i post what figures are coming up so just know that a lot of unboxings are going to be done in the next upcoming week so stay tuned in for that but as always guys want to thank you so so much for the support i do want to thank you for tuning in today to this video of iron man mark 5 and i will see you next time